All right, let me show you something. This is the Honda Pioneer 700, and this is a great machine. I really like, love it. It's, uh, I don't think you can get this thing stuck. You see how dirty it is? I've been through mud that's about this deep, and the machine handles it just fine. Um, the couple of problems I have with it are there's, there's this cup holder. There's not another cup holder in here, so I'm going to actually make one out of PVC and put in here. You can buy cup holders from Amazon, but they're just really, really high, and uh, I don't want to pay 50 bucks for a cup holder. There's no storage under here. You can put under seat storage, but if you do, it um, the ones I found block this uh, power port, which I don't want to do. So I've got the back. I store stuff back here, and that works great. The one real downfall of this machine is that there's no light in here anywhere. There's no interior light anywhere. These machines come stock with just the bars. There's no roof. I got this roof put on at my Honda dealer when I bought the machine. But uh, so there wouldn't, normally there would not be a light up here, but there's no light anywhere in here. And uh, I've seen different people do different things. What I've decided to do is to put a light on the roof right here. So I bought this light on Amazon. I think it was uh, $10. And I bought it because, check this out. You can turn the light on. And a lot of times if we're in the woods at night, we don't want the light full bright. We can push the uh, dim button and we can, we can make the light a lot dimmer just like that. So that's a great feature. So I'm going to mount the light on the roof right there with, uh, with Velcro. That's what I'm working on now. And I'm going to take the control and mount it right there right over the no driver under 16 notice so uh we can turn it on from here now you can also turn this light on with a button like that but if you keep it in in this setting then you then it only operates with the uh with a remote control which is perfect for me this light is supposed to have five hours of light time on its maximum light setting it takes um it takes six double a cell batteries let me show it to you here see if you can see this there we go so it takes six double a cell batteries i found that it actually will run on three um, it just runs twice as long if you put all six into it so anyhow that's what i'm doing right now i'm putting my velcro on it so that i can put this light on the top of the pioneer So, got that piece on there. Got this piece right here. And here's a tip about, about Velcro. Um, put the piece with the little hooks up. I mean, put it on, put, put the piece with the hooks on the, on the, whatever you're putting Velcro on. You know, Velcro has got two pieces, the fuzzy piece and the hook piece. Um, put the fuzzy piece somewhere where things won't get stuck to it. That's why I didn't put the fuzzy piece on this because I can take this down and remove it to replace batteries. And if I had the fuzzy piece on this, trash and other stuff could get in this. But if this piece stays against the ceiling all the time, then nothing will get on this piece. And uh, nothing's gonna stick to these hooks. I've done this a bunch. and. And just take my word for it, that's the best way to do it. So to put this in the right spot, you peel your sticky, or your, um, peel the backing off this piece of Velcro. Okay, so let's get this other piece put on, and I don't believe I did that. There we go. Now take this and just uh, put it on the ceiling on the roof. Make sure your roof is clean and put it up. Let's see, where do we want to put this? So I'm going to put this right 
I can put it there or I can put it here. Okay, I'm out here in the shop in the dark in the Honda Pioneer. I just want to show you what this light does. This is a great light. Um, there's the control mounted on the dash. The light's up there. I'm going to turn it off and then back on. Let's go all the way down in the light level. All right, let's go all the way back up. Wow, that's really bright. And all the way back down. It doesn't really get as dim as I would like it to get, but that's okay. It does really good. All the way back up. Wow, this does, it does really good. So yeah, this is nice to have the button right here instead of having to reach up here is really convenient. It works great. So there you go. Good light. Okay, here's one more video about the lights on the Honda Pioneer 700. I've never really showed how good the lights were. I've got the LED lights on the front and the back and I want to do a quick comparison to show you just how good a job they do. Again, these are the Nylite LED lights. I bought them on Amazon. There's a link to the lights in the video. So here's the lights that came on the Honda Pioneer. Which is decent, it's better than nothing, but it's, it's not as good as it could be. Now I'm gonna leave those lights on and turn on the front LED lights. So there you can see a huge difference. So let's turn those off and back on. So the LED lights on the top make all the difference. If you're out in the woods at night, you want the LED lights on the, on the uh, LED lights on and, instead of just the regular Pioneer lights. All right, so now let's turn on the lights in back. I hope you can see it. Those are also really good. I always wanted some backup lights because you know, there's the lights that are on the back of the Pioneer, just these lights are not really that good. But uh, those Nylite lights work really good. I'm gonna take a quick ride out through the pasture just to show you what it looks like with the uh, lights on and off. Okay, this is the normal uh, Honda Pioneer lights. Uh, they do okay. Hey, there's a deer. Can you see the deer? That's actually a spike. Anyhow, now I'm going to turn on the front LED lights. <coughs> that makes a massive difference. So now let's turn on the rear lights and let you see what those look like. The rear lights really light up everything back there. It, it, the camera can't really capture the amount of light they put out. Let's try this one more time. So now let's turn on the front lights and the rear lights. So I'm going to get out and walk around, let you take a look at it. Yeah, so if you put the front lights on and the rear lights, this thing looks like the moon shining at night. Hey girl. Hey girl. That's a good puppy. Yeah, so these lights are worth every dollar. So now if I turn on the interior light too, wow, that's great. Yeah, I'm really happy with these LED lights. Okay, I'm out in the pasture. Actually, I drove out in a field. I'm on the edge of a pond. You probably can't see the pond, but uh, there's about a two acre pond. And uh, these LED lights just really do a great job of lighting everything up on the uh, pine, around the Pioneer. These lights are so bright, they can probably see me two miles away. Um, the rear lights do a great job. There's two small rear lights. 
The only uh, dark spot, blind spot, dark spot is out on the side. Um, I think I'm going to get a couple of more lights and now here on the sidebar so that we have light out to the side. But uh, these lights do a great job. So, yeah, I'm very happy with them. And, and when I turn on the interior light, that light, um, this, thing, this thing's just lit up like daytime. So, anyhow, that's it. I just wanted to show you what the lights look like. They do a really good job. So, um, uh, good luck if you buy a set.